strength and intervals workout. Let's get moving with the side. Oh, my internet. What's it doing here? I selected the right one. All right, might be glitching a little bit. Hopefully it smooths out. Side shuffle, here we go. And start gentle. This can be a side step walk, or you can put a little hop into it. Remember, it's your warm up. Start at the level that feels right for you, and then progress. Always progress with it. If you are warming up, which you should be, then you can do more. As soon as the breathing feels like it wants to increase, let it increase. <clears throat> All right, uh, little uh, public service announcement. Uh, tonight at 4.30 and Thursday at 4.30, I'm doing a, a learn to use your foam roller session. Uh, <clears throat> one of the nights is for upper body, one of the nights is for lower body. have to admit, I didn't confirm which was which before I started talking to you, so anyways, uh, you can register through the Fit and Rec page or the events page. Three, two, one, come on out of that, let's hike out the butt kickers. And uh, if you just can't find the link, email me or email wellness at sasspolytech.ca and we'll just send it to you. Uh, half an hour of foam rolling with some guidance on <coughs> where to do it, how to do it. Should be fun. And then that'll get recorded and put into the uh, self care section on YouTube. So if you can't make tonight or Thursday, then just look for me on YouTube. Let's see if we can turn this into a jog. Okay, butt kickers into a jog. And breathe. Head up, knees down, smile on your face. You might be hiking this, you might be jogging it. But for sure you're moving it. Three, two, one, and come on out of that. Let's hike out knees to opposite elbows. Chest up really tall, lifting those toes when they come off the ground. Uh, checking in with your balance a little bit here. You can do this super slow and spend more time balancing. It's also hard to get the knee to the elbow when you go slow. <laughs> At least on one side for me. Okay, keep going. Lifting those toes, keeping the chest up. Feeling that stomach start to work. Feeling that twist. Twist in your trunk. That's okay. Three, two, one. Come out of that. Let's do some uh, arm circles. Your most comfortable size and speed. Uh, keeping the shoulders down. <clears throat> and as we're doing this, just hold some tension in your trunk to control the wiggling or the shaking or the moving, okay? <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna make it slower and bigger. Gradually slower and bigger, slower and bigger, and then eventually the circles are as big as you can make them and uncomfortably slow, okay? Don't let your spine bend or twist. If you don't bend backwards when the arms are behind you, you don't bend forwards when they're in front. One last big, slow, arduous circle. Keep breathing and switch direction. Your size and speed. This should be comfortable. Hopefully you've chosen something comfortable for yourself. Notice your armpits kind of close up at the bottom of each circle. Always be cognizant of those armpit squeezing positions where we can keep the shoulders down from the ears and stabilize the shoulder. And then gradually here they get slower and bigger, slower and bigger. Slower and bigger. One arm might be doing something completely different than the other. It's working slower and bigger until it's as big as you can get it and uncomfortably slow. That's it. Keep breathing. You'll have to take a few breaths during this whole process. One last one. Super big and super slow. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> We gotta warm up those hips a little bit more yet. So uh, reverse lunge, sweeping the hands. Uh, so you get to choose how far back you step, how far down you go. I want those fingertips to come together. 
and they can come together in front of you or slightly, uh, slightly uh, on top of you. Couldn't think of the word above. Above you. Uh, or straight above. Okay? You can start this gradually with a small step, <clears throat> shallow depth, and hands in front of your face, and then let it grow to a bigger step, lower depth, and reaching above your head, or to whatever extent your body allows you. Full body motion, okay? I know I'm probably freezing up here and there. We're doing one more each side, one more each side. <clears throat> and come on up and shake that out. Perfect. Okay, let me show you the deal. We're doing those triangle lifts. And so this is where you might have a small weight. <clears throat> So if the weight's in my right hand, then my left toe kind of points out, not straight sideways, but like not nine o'clock, but 10 o'clock, okay? Right foot points pretty much straight forwards. I'm gonna be watching my weight, not this weight, but this weight, the whole time. Left hand is gonna slide down my left outside thigh. Both knees stay straight and I'm going down as far as my hips will let me, and then I'm gonna pop up. When I get to the top, I look forwards, and as soon as I reach down my leg again, my eyeballs look up to find that weight, okay? That's gonna be one of our triangle, our triangle lift exercise. We're gonna do that for 40 seconds, then we're gonna have a seat. <clears throat> we're gonna do a V-sit, a V-sit for 40 seconds, so nice traditional, Hammer out the core, okay? To make it easier, don't reach quite so far. Maybe even grab your legs, okay? Uh, tap the floor each time. To give yourself a small break. Hands on the floor. All right, lots of different options there. <clears throat> then we'll do that triangle lift on the other side. And then we're gonna do a, 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 another core exercise. I kind of honestly like to think that I just invented this three days ago. Uh, I'm not sure I just saw it on YouTube, but whatever. Um, so we're going to be in a plank position, okay? And all I'm going to do is... Oh, I'm trying to think, how did I do this again? So I'm going to lift my left foot and reach to the side and put my right hand on top of my left hand, okay? And then I'm going to reach with my right foot out to the side and put my left hand on top of my right hand. Okay, so it's a step out. The whole body translates over, and then it's hand over hand. Okay? <clears throat> so one way to make that easier is you go, you go each way once, put a knee down, take a breath, and then resume. Another way to make it easier is you've got that first, second, or third step of your staircase nearby, okay? Uh, you got the back of the couch, something stable you can lean on, and then there's the wall option, which works just as well. All right, oh, right? And then, uh. So the, the part is my left foot moves with my right hand, and then I go back. Right foot moves with left hand, and then go back. All right, 40 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Try that three times. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna press start, going in 10. We're all on board, we're looking good. Let's get this weight into the right hand. Left toes point outwards a little bit. And here we go, left hand reaches down. Look at that weight up there, okay? Descend slowly. Most of us have hamstrings that will enjoy a slow descent on this, okay? Left knee stays straight. Don't let it hyperextend. If you've got those flamingo knees, don't let it bend backwards. 
And notice your stomach is working quite hard through this. And your left hamstring. Almost done. And rest. Nice. Now we're going down for V-sits. <clears throat> All right, perfect. Uh, the V-sit movement has so many different options to let you do what I guess feels right and have fun. It can be fast, it can be slow. Uh, make it work for you. In three, two, one, here we go. The exhalation typically happens where the hardest part of the exercise is happening. That's probably where the toes or the feet are furthest away from you. So that's where you exhale. You're strongest when you exhale. You're weakest when you inhale. And that proves how, kind of how your core works. We're almost done. And rest, perfect. All right, now doing the triangle lift with the weight in the left hand, <clears throat> but not yet, we're still resting. I better turn my phone on silent in case I get a phone call. All right, get ready in 10. Okay, get it up there, right toe pointed out, and here we go, right hand slides down the outside of your right thigh, and then you pop it up. Nice job, as soon as you start to go down, look up at that weight. above your head just doesn't work because of let's say your shoulder and you can just have your left hand on your chest and the right hand is still reaching down and you're still getting a ton of rest ton of benefit from that okay uh, <clears throat> okay perfect now we're moving on to the the new exercise plank hand over hand I like to call it haven't trademarked that yet so don't anybody else do it Really, this is just, you know, the exercise when we reach to the side as far as we can. That's all this is, and one hand is following. Okay, so ready, set, there we go. Reach to the side with the foot, and then let that trail hand come over, okay? It just touches the back of your other hand. There's no weight bearing. That's it. And you're finding ways to breathe the whole time. Taking this to the end. And rest. Perfect. All right, one round done. Any coordination issues on which foot and which hand to use? I'm sure your stomach enjoyed all of it. Kind of reminded me of the value of doing something a little bit new because I did this stuff with you guys all the time. Uh, you probably have the same experience where muscles don't really get sore very often. Okay, right hand up, ready, here we go. So anyways, I did this exercise and I actually had some stiffness and soreness in my stomach muscles and I was kind of pumped. Left hand down, Remember, you can put that weight down, put your right hand on your right chest, and you're going to get the same out of this. You are exhaling as you rise. Exactly. You had it. We're almost done. And rest. Perfect. <clears throat> And breathe. This 
So when we're all together again in person at some point, uh, I still expect you to get all the right answers to the questions, all my quiz questions. Because right now in my head you are. Okay, be sit in three, two, one. There we go. Remember, you also want to make this look good. Like if somebody's watching you, they should be enticed to try it. It feels how it feels. <clears throat> good, bad, or indifferent. Try to make it look like you're having fun. We're almost done. And rest. Whew. I know you're having fun. Don't forget to sell it. You might have the, the neighbor that spies on you through the window or someone who lives in your house. And they just keep sitting on the couch watching you do this stuff, right? Well, if you make it look good, they'll join you at some point. <sighs> well, maybe not the neighbor, the creepy one. Okay, ready, set, left hand above your head, right hand slides down the right thigh. You're paying attention to your knees, making both nice and straight. Might have a little glitch coming here. Nice job exhaling as you rise. It's tummy tight, we're almost done. Four seconds to go. And rest. Perfect. All right, coming up to plank hand over hand in 20 seconds. Grab some water if you need. Ten seconds to go. All right, get ready in three, two, one. All right. With whatever leg you're reaching with, it's the other hand that's going to lift off the floor. breathing. This one should be done slowly. <clears throat> if there's any speed bunnies out there, slow it down and enjoy it. And rest. Perfect. All right, just a little wrist, a wrist rest here. Twine your fingers, roll your wrists around. For sure, those plank positions can tax the wrists. Sometimes that's what stops us from continuing. If we keep working at it within our scope, those wrists will get stronger. Okay, ready? Right hand up. And go left hand down the thigh and, and uh, shin. And we're looking at the weight as we descend. Nice job, nice and slow. Tell me nice and tight. Nice job, 10 seconds to go. Almost there. And rest, perfect. All right, so full confession, there's a reason why we're doing this, this today. Uh, it's really good for you and me. It's one of the exercises that identifies if the hamstrings are tight or if they're doing well. I kind of suspected mine were tight, but I was ignoring them. I should have done this myself yesterday. I didn't. I thought, oh, I'll throw it in the workout today and see what's going on. Be sit. Be sit. Here we go. <clears throat> 
So as it turns out, left hamstring, doing great. Right hamstring, needs some serious work on it. And I just kept ignoring it. So anyways, working through it. 20 seconds to go here. This is our last V-sit of the morning. So really enjoy it. Because you don't get to do it after this. This is it. 10 seconds to go. And rest. Perfect. All right, doing triangle lift with the weight in the left hand next. Sometimes you're, from an exercise perspective, you're naturally drawn away from those things that you should do the most of. Okay, weight in the left hand, get it up there. Ready in three, two, one. Reach down the right thigh. That top arm should be straight up, left up. Left elbow completely straight, but not hyperextended. If the shoulder is healthy, then the left arm really isn't doing anything. It should not feel tired. The tummy, on the other hand, it's working. And that right hamstring and the adductor, it's working. And wrap that up. That's done. Nice job. One more plank hand over hand, and then part A is done. Perfect. All right, so to make this harder, you take a bigger step with your foot and your hands. Start with your hands wider. To make it easier, not so much. Ready? Here we go. Step it out. To make this easier, start with hands close together and feet close together. And make a small step. To make it hard, make a big step. And have your hands far apart. It's only 13 seconds to go. Try it, everybody. rest. Perfect. All right. Lie down maybe or get up and move around. Grab some water. Shake it out. We've got time for a fantastic part B. <coughs> so catch your breath. Uh, sorry about the glitching. I'm sure I'm freezing up on you guys all the time. Oh, ignore the timer. That's not for us. I'm going to stop that. All right. Uh, so I don't have anything written down here, so I'm just looking at it to uh, kill some time. That's what we're going to do. But of course I know what we're going to do. We're going to get our, our blankie out and a pillow. And we're going to curl up. We're going to curl up. And we're going to do just a nice, gentle uh, half of a Tabata with burpees. Half of a Tabata with burpees, okay? So four rounds, not eight, four rounds. Uh, uh, burpee of your choice, ones you like, okay? So maybe all the way down and all the way up with a big jump. Other end of the spectrum, uh, you're on your third step at the back of the coach. And you're stepping out, stepping in, you're doing the wave, maybe it's a little hop out and a hop in, and a little jump, okay? So it's 20 seconds hard, whatever that means for you, hard, and then 10 seconds off, times four. Ready, set, going in 10. Burpees are awesome in three, two, one, go, here we go. 
Remember, this is only half a Tabata. It's four rounds. Make this as exciting as you want. And rest. 10 seconds rest. I'm shocked at the lack of hate mail I get over burpees, so good for you. Okay, ready, set, go. 10 more seconds. Figure out the best way to breathe for yourself. Rest. Whew. Okay, that's two down, two to go. The exhale should be paired with the hard parts. Ready, go. <clears throat> kind of feels like the whole thing is a hard part though, right? float away. Three, two, one. Last one here. Keep it going. Last work of the day. Woo. And rest. Rest, rest. Lie down, move around, whatever works for you. Perfect. I'm glad to see we have the same number of participants now as we did four minutes ago. Or maybe you just can't get to the computer to turn it off. In any event, Nice work. Yeah, puffing and puffing like that feels uncomfortable. That's fair. Mm. I promise that. Now, with a little bit of exposure to it, uh, a person really can get comfortable with it. But do as much as you feel comfortable with. Okay, let's do a little stretch here. Get that mat down on the floor <clears throat> and if you're ready to to get down on the floor I'm going to have the left foot in front uh, right foot behind if it's there for you both hands come to the inside of your front leg if that's not there for you then elbow on your front knee or up on that dining room chair you've got nearby okay and we're just going to relax this <clears throat> oh, nice job everybody. So we're going to try a little quad stretch from here. If it's there, if it's here for you. Uh, so again, left foot's in front. So I'm going to twist to my left, use my left hand, reach back and grab my right foot. And I'm going to try, if I'm lucky enough to grab it, twist to my left and look up at the ceiling. That's the goal with this. If you cannot reach that back foot, using a belt, a strap, or a t-shirt wrapped around your foot can kind of help bridge that gap. Very nice for the right quad and the front of the hip. You can probably feel that if you're here. Three, two, one. We're going to let that go. Let's switch sides. Hang in from my left foot back. Right foot comes up. And then sink down and just try to get comfortable with this position. So when someone goes through some stretching positions with you, uh, one, of the, one of the learning points uh, that I've always really appreciated when I learned something new is the realization that, oh, the human body is supposed to be able to do that? Huh, mine doesn't. And then you work towards acquiring that skill. Okay, right hand, you twist to the right, right hand reaches back for that left foot, 
And then if it's there for you, really twist the trunk. Try to open up your chest to the ceiling. And breathe. And smile. And relax. Perfect. All right, so if you have the time, and it's there for you, we're going to let that go. Uh, spend a little more time repeating that. 15 to 30 seconds on each side. But it is 8.30. Uh, and that's the workout. Uh, thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. And so does your body. I'll see you again. Take care.